Now then, starting this lunchtime, there's a new look to BBC Weather. Meteo Group will be providing us with the latest data and there's a fresh design to the way our forecasts are displayed on TV, online and in the BBC's weather app. And Sarah Keith Lucas will now explain. It's here in the BBC Weather Centre where the new look forecasts have been developed over recent months. We know how important clear and accurate forecasts are for you, so we've been working closely with our partners Meteo Group to bring you the new graphics using more data as well as the latest innovations in design technology and forecasting science. Simon Hunt is our creative director. Now, Simon, talk us through what the viewers can expect to see with our new graphics. What they will notice straight away is the map looks different. Um, it's a high resolution map and it's green. Um, if you're going closer on that, you can see we've also got high resolution data for the weather. We also have the ability to show a 3D globe with weather on it, which the presenters can move around quite easily to uh, create the editorial story they want to tell. Some of the graphics as well we're using, so the outlook for the instance here shows quite clearly that temperatures rise to the weekend and then fall away afterwards. So how's it all going to look on the big screen? Well, it'll look cleaner and fresher. And one of our main concepts when developing these graphics was the idea of a window on the weather. So behind this window, you can see not only the weather in the distance, you can also see drops of rain sitting on the pane of glass here. And as Simon was showing us, we can now look at the weather on a very localised scale. For instance, let's zoom into northern England. And in this example, you can see quite clearly the showers falling as rain, but also as snow over the higher ground too. And it's not only on the small scale that things are changing, but also on the global scale too. We can now look at satellite data from right around the world. We can also add on pressure fields and frontal systems too. We can even give you an indication of when and where you might be likely to see the northern lights. And of course, it's not only on TV that things are changing. We've also redeveloped our weather app and our website too. Now, one of the main changes is that our 10-day forecast has been replaced by a 14-day forecast. We've also introduced the percentage chance of rain by the hour. This is going to help you keep up to date with the latest weather and we hope you'll enjoy our new look. So it is all change with our weather graphics, but actually the weather itself is not changing in a hurry. We've still got this cold and wintry theme that's been with us really since the beginning of the month. We've had some great pictures in from our weather watchers today. This one comes from Penrith in Cumbria, where there's been already about four centimetres of snow and that snow is edging further south across the country. So on through this afternoon, we'll continue with that really quite cold theme and there will be some more wintry flurries too. Let's start with the satellite image. So this is the view from space looking down at the cloud across the UK you can see this band of cloud which is a pretty slow moving weather front and that weather front is producing quite a bit of snow so this is the recent snowfall radar showing where we've had snow over the past few hours tracking south across parts of northern England into Wales and the west country too so we'll continue to see this band of cloud and snow showers it'll feel cold if you're underneath that frontal system with temperatures really struggling to get much above freezing Either side of the front, though, it is a little bit milder, but there's still that mix of some bright spells and some wintry showers too. So if we zoom in now and take a look at the regional detail, first off across Scotland, you can see those snow showers packing in from the northwest. Watch out for some icy conditions and a similar picture across Northern Ireland too. Bit of sunshine for southern Scotland, but we're back under the cloud for northern England, down towards the Midlands, Wales and the southwest of England with some snow showers likely here. Icy conditions too. It is a little bit drier and clearer towards the southeast but you could see one or two flurries of snow almost anywhere and then moving into the evening then the main bulk of cloud and snow shifts its way across east anglia and the southeast could be a couple of centimeters for parts of east anglia a dusting in london too and look at those temperatures as low as minus six or minus seven degrees even in the towns and cities colder than that though in the countryside so heading through tomorrow then the front that brought us tuesday snow eases away towards the near continent a ridge of higher pressure then builds in before the next front heads in from the northwest so a very cold icy start to your Wednesday morning plenty of sunshine for England and Wales but skies clouding over for Scotland and for Northern Ireland and we'll see a little bit more rain and hill snow here now temperatures probably a degree or so less cold than they are today but certainly that wintry theme stays with us towards the end of the week it's going to be cold there'll be further rain and hill snow and a little bit of sunshine too but remember you can keep up to date with the weather by checking our updated weather website and also by checking the BBC weather app Ben
Sarah, thanks. Very snazzy new graphics, and you saw them here first. Uh, that is all from us for now. Now it's time to join the news teams where you are. Goodbye. <laughs>